Yo, 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 this is uh, Chris Blair and actually sitting in the park here having some coffee. You know, it's funny, I came to this park today thinking it'd be quiet because it's usually quiet on a Friday afternoon in the park. I'd just relax here for about 20 or 30 minutes, have a coffee and maybe do one of these videos. And I got here and I'm telling you, it's a zoo. There are kids everywhere and I just realized, um, and there's moms with the kids, of course, and I just realized that it's summer vacation has started. So. The school summer vacation has started, and that's why what I thought was gonna be a quiet park is, I mean, man, there's just people everywhere. I can't believe this. Check this out. This is Normally on a Friday afternoon, this place would be almost empty. It doesn't start to get busy till the evening, but of course the weekends is packed out, but I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, summer vacation, I guess, started this week. I, I, I this is my best guess. Anyway. Um, so today I'm going to talk about the two things that I, I've been doing this business, okay? I've been in this business since 2013, okay? Beginning 2013, actually towards the end of 2000, sorry, the end of 2012, up till now, okay? So I have, what, full 2013, 14, 15, 16, now halfway through 17, okay? In that time, I've done. I've been on Teespring. I've been a represent. I've had two Shopify stores. I have seen. I've actually even sold a little bit of time on Viral Style. I've been in these Facebook groups. I've done coaching and training for all this time, guys. So, I mean, the reason I'm bringing this up to you guys again, in fact, I mean, I was such a big seller that I was invited to speak at uh, Fabri Teespring event in London, right? Okay. So, the reason I'm bringing this up to you guys is I have really seen the spectrum, okay, of sellers and the problems that they face. The problems that I faced and my coaching students face, and I am very qualified to talk about this. Okay, so that's why I'm actually reviewing this process here. I want to explain this to you so you understand it. Look, this is not just some willy nilly thing that I'm just you know made up off the top of my mind. This is without a doubt the top two reasons why people fail in this business. Okay, so I'm gonna we'll gather on to this call here for a second. I'm gonna talk about um, if you're interested in my private coaching. I can fit one coaching student now. Um, if you're interested in my beta course, just private message me. So you can either get in my private coaching or my beta course. Let me know. Um, just private message me, and uh, I'm open to one person at this time for my private coaching and beta course. You know, as long as you're a serious seller and interested in really getting results. Um, this is why I have. This I'm not having for the beta portion. I don't have an open sales page just because I want to make sure I want to filter the people who are um, respond who are in the group. I want to make sure we have a good beta group right people right so anyway so if you're interested in that uh, private message me it doesn't matter whether you're an experienced seller or um, you know a beginner you, you can get value out of the course okay so let's go into the top three reasons why people fail okay number reason number one okay niche hopping People get really, really frustrated. They try one, two, three, or four products. They, they spend you know, a few weeks in, in a certain niche, or maybe a month, maybe two months, maybe even three months, maybe in four months, and they give up and they move on, okay? This is a big mistake, because with every action you do in that niche is a learning opportunity, and the more knowledge you gain in that niche, as long as you're in a niche that's proven to be a, a, niche, a niche that you can sell in, Right, then you know there's a winnable angle in that niche, okay? So it's a big mistake to give up, so give up quickly, right? You should go into it with determination. Look, I know this is a winning niche, okay? I know this is a winning niche, I have interest in this, and I, I'm, and I believe I can make this niche work. And with the determination that I'm going to work this niche until I fucking make it. And if you go in with that mindset, right, you follow through with a, a concept I call, I call become a niche master, become a market master, right? Then you move to become a market master. And so I don't want to go into all the different elements of market master. That's about a 20 minute video in my course, and that's not what this, this point of this video is, right? I think I actually, actually did a video talking a little bit about market master in the past. But anyway, so, but people jump niches. They give up so quickly, they say, oh, this is not working for me. Let's try that niche. That's not working for me. Guys, the only person who might have some justification for, for niche hopping quickly is if you were decided you want to be a pioneer. Let's just say, I don't know. 
Well, I don't. I can't think of a pioneer stuff on my head. But let's just say that you wanted you started an underwater basket weaving um, niche store and fan page. Okay, obviously underwater basket weaving does not exist. This is a hypothetical example. Okay, this is not a proven niche, and I can understand after a few weeks to a month, maybe five, six weeks, seven weeks. So, if it's totally not working, it's not a proven niche. Why you want to switch? Okay, that makes sense because you're a pioneer and you were testing out something that never been done before, and it didn't work. Right, but if unless you're trying to be a pioneer and you're already in a proven niche, it's a huge mistake the niche hop because you're going back to starting from zero. Instead, go in it with the attitude look, I'm going to become a niche market master. Okay, I know it's a proven niche, it may be competitive. A good example of competitive is the dog niche, right? Dog niche is very hard to crack, it's hard enough to crack. But I've had students do it. And once you find that angle, these kids running all over the place, it's kind of cute. <laughs> once you find that angle that works for you, then you can dominate in that niche. And, and no matter how big niche is. Because you think when I decided to go after the beer niche, you don't think the beer niche was completely saturated. It was ultra saturated. In fact, I had people say to me, why are you doing the beer niche? It's been done before. Because I went in the beer niche and I knew that I'm the type of guy, from my experience, that they could become a niche master. And now my store, my fan page is one of the biggest around. What does that say? I was determined to become a niche master, okay? So, um, reason number one for failing is niche hopping. It's a big mistake, okay? You wasted all that previous effort you put into learning one niche and then you hop to a new niche because it's not working out for you, okay? Number two, and that is uh, not nearly as much effort and time put into and thought into coming up with cool, unique products. People spend, I mean, even, for example, especially in the dropshipping business, man, when they spend, they go to eBay, they'll come up with five products in, in an hour, or they'll, they'll start researching their niche, other niche fan pages in POD and come up with five products in an hour. If you're coming up with five products in an hour, you're not doing your job, period. You're not doing your job, because if it's that easy to come up with five products, there's no way in the world you're putting enough effort into unique thought, okay? It takes me a lot of effort to put a product. And I've had to train my mind to be creative. I've had to train my mind, to be, and, I've had, and I've seen students go through this process. You know, we, we talk about this, and my coaches, and they say, here's my product, and then we say, okay, well, I'm like, is that really creative? And guys, here's the beautiful part about this. This type of creativity, this is not like being an artist, okay? This is a creativity that you, anyone in our minds, we can tap into that. Absolutely. I mean, I have not had a student who has been, been willing to put in the effort, right? Who has not cracked that nut on how to come up with creative products to sell on Facebook and, and Instagram and these places. So this is, doesn't require a, a huge amount of creativity, but it does require some mind training to get your, into the mindset of coming up with creative products for this type of business, okay? So there is some creativity about, but you don't have to be some like artist or singer and, and have that high, high level of creativity, right? But you need to go beyond your normal, where you are now, okay? So, again, that's learnable, okay? And so, the thing is, people just, they, I mean, if they just go to eBay and they, they search a niche and they'll, they'll find out the best sellers or the top pages and that's it. That's the end of their, their search. Oh, I got five products and ping. Hey guys, Every other asshole, excuse my language, is hopping on those products too. What makes your product unique? Nothing's unique about it. And then you wonder why it doesn't sell. Okay? Guys, even for t-shirts, right, which are which are harder to sell these days than other products, right, because the t-shirts have been really saturated, there are some cool, creative things you can come up with t-shirts, and I still make t-shirts sell because I think beyond and I think outside the box. All right. All right, those are the top two reasons. Niche hopping and not being creative on your products. If you're interested in my private coaching, I got one spot I can, one person I can take on. Hi! Toto koaine. There's some lady here with her two kids and they're very cute. I just said in Japanese, they're very cute. All right, so, um, I lost my train of thought there when the kid ran by. Oh yeah, so, so one was the, the uh, niche hopping and number two was, uh, you know, not being creative with your products. So if you're interested in my private coaching, you can message me one spot open. My beta course is, there's unlimited spots open, but it's 
I don't want to let anyone in, so you get to get access to that information, you got to private message me as well. And cheers, I'll see you in the next video.